Hello, everyone. My name is Gus. Hi, I'm Malcolm. Man. That's so. This is what happens when you give Woody any hint of the topic that we're talking about today. I just said we're going to be reviewing Marine Encounters, and this is this is what happened. I, feel, I can't. Do you feel what I'm sending you? We that, communicate this way. I can't give you anything. Not even a you little know what bit I of just said to you, Gustavo. That's what did I say to right. you? Well, we're reacting to Marine Encounters. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I agree with what they're saying here. That's that's not true. Um the coolest part, I think, is just imagine being out on a dive and you see this. I will freak out. Look how I, awesome. I agree. I agree with her. I agree with him. She is beautiful. I agree with him. <sighs> That's what we're saying. This is why. Dude, diving with whales must be the best. All I could say is if you were on a dive and you saw this underwater, it's just incredible. I would just retire. Like, that's it. It doesn't get better. This is it. I have this seen dolphins pinnacle. one time underwater. Yeah, I've dolphins, seen dolphins. I've seen dolphins too. But man, whales like this. Oh. You know they communicate telepathically. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Just like Aquaman. That's not true. Um, and I feel double insulted because Aquaman is my favorite superhero. So well, that's you're, good because you're, you're double you're insulting at... all of us. Okay, well, when I see you at Tima, I hope you get used to only one voice. And that's Aquaman's that voice. Aquaman doesn't even talk like that. Like, why are you Aquaman even talking? Don't like talk like this. You don't trust oh fish like God. this. Don't tell Aquaman how to talk. He talks like this and telepathically. You sound like a teenager. With I a love voice Aquaman. You love Aquaman. I feel you loving Aquaman. And this, this fish. Oh, that's my fellow. Look at mm, that. Mm, mm. Mm. So playful. So awesome. What are you doing? I have my hair in a bow for you, sir. Wow. Just this is this is awesome. And by the way, we have a uh, several clips that we're reacting to today. They're all pretty short. So this one is almost over. Look how look at them compare with the boat. Mm. Massive. Mm. There they come. Talking. Mm-hmm. Would you, you want to know what they're saying? No. Okay. I mean I would, but you I'll you're not gonna you give me that. Tell me one, no. Beautiful. Okay, so mm. this second one, look at this. These guys went diving on a river in Brazil, and they found an anaconda. So what do you do if you find a 23-foot long or 7 meters long anaconda underwater? Kiss them. Well, you stay there and obviously get on their face like every regular person would, of course. Right. They're totally harmless. This is how people They're die. scared. They're scared. The a anaconda is scared. Really, the seven yes. meter anaconda that can kill every human being on earth flawlessly right. is scared right now. They tell me all the time how scared they are. That's they're scared. Look not at one episode Aquaman talked to a snake, not one. Now he does. No, but look at this thing, it's like right on its face. And look how he doesn't want to hurt anything. That's the point, he doesn't want to hurt any that. You know, photographer. I'm serious. I'm not being serious. He died. He doesn't. Uh, the snake is like, should I eat this guy or no. that other guy? No. Zero interest in that. He's just curious, just like uh, all of my other marine life family is. We're just curious creatures that want to have peace and love with humankind. But humankind... So then after narrowly beating death, instead of swimming away, this guy is like, you know what? I just don't think I got it on the anaconda's face enough. So I'm going to follow it. I just want to keep these and the, animals around me in because the world. 
as much it just i just want to be around it and i can't always be in here around it so i sometimes sleep with i'm just saying I just, wow like, yeah i have a mermaid you want to see that nope okay i'll bring it out look at this this is misunderstood marine life is misunderstood and that is my real reaction because it's just trying to live its life and be curious so what part of this am i misunderstood what are you what is this what are you showing right now has nothing to do with the video we're reacting it's the to. mermaid doll that i keep in my room oh my god hello okay so here we are still diving with a humongous anaconda beautiful misunderstood <laughs> i don't wow yeah marine life is misunderstood they're peaceful they're curious mm -hmm. If you're chilled, they're chilled. They're of course they're going to swim around you and move, but they're not yeah. looking to attack you. I was in an alligator pit. Okay. No, oh, funny that if you put up an alligator, I swear I was about to say. Guess what the alligators did? Mm -hmm. When I went to, they ran away. They scurry away because they're like, oh my gosh, you're going to hurt me. That guy's not going to hurt anybody. That may so, be a cro that may be a crocodile though. So I always thought. That in order for me to see or encounter an alligator, a crocodile in the ocean, mm -hmm. I would have to go to Australia, which I am approximately a million miles away from Australia. Mm -hmm. So I was happy because there's absolutely basically zero chance that I'll be running into one of these things on the water. I got your present. And then, no, don't. Except I got your present. Okay, well let's can let's focus right here on this video because I'm okay. this is concerning. Yeah, present, oh my bro. god, dude, what is going on? Just listen. Aquaman got you present. Just listen. Okay, you love Aquaman. Can we? Okay, dude, people are. Okay, that's it. They're leaving right now. I They're unsubscribing want... and out. Okay, but look what I got you. Okay, thank okay. you. I'll just bring it. Put it there away. Don't don't bring it. Okay. I'm gonna bring it. Hope to see it never. <laughs> okay. So again, I am uh, very excited about the fact that I am a million miles away from one of these things under the ocean until I found this video that someone took in West Palm Beach. What? Yes. That's in the ocean in West Palm Beach. Yes. I never saw. I mean, I I was just rowed. 27 miles today in the Everglades, which is nowhere near West Palm Beach. Yep. And I don't know how that guy got there. Well, Unless this is in West Palm Beach, there. which means the Florida is, uh, that's it. It's retired from my list of diving spots. How, how that happened. Okay. Well, there, here we go. Guy is diving in West Palm Beach and encounters this thing. Is that a crocodile or an alligator? And, and I'm being... I the 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 video is titled "Alligator okay. Found and on they're the Harm." But I'm, not, they could have gotten in there through the intercoastal, but they're yeah. harmless. The, yeah, no, they look. Look at this. It looks like a puppy. He doesn't care. Hmm. Yeah, right now, he's standing like, okay, do I rip his legs off mm, or people, arms off? Okay, well, let me explain. I do want to say one thing. People are swimming in the in the Everglades with the yeah. alligators, and they do you know. not. That, that's it. That's what they do. In the canal ways in the Everglades, you can swim with the alligators mm. and they literally scurry away. Now, I'm not recommending that. Don't go swimming in the Everglades without professional <laughs> guides, without being with an airboat operator. Do and not, without a will. And, and without definitely, a will. And without Aquaman. Yeah. Help and you. a life policy, life insurance policy. Okay. Do not so, do it. But I'm saying you saw when we did. Hang on, I got an itch on my bow. There we go. Uh, you saw when we did that video at Mike Young's alligator farm. Mm. Hey, you see anybody? You see any alligators coming towards us? Yes. No. All the alligators. They scurry away. Okay. Now, these guys are diving in Norway. They found this humongous group of fish. And I guess they started to wonder, well, what's eating all this fish? Well. Orcas. Orcas. And they go, oh my God, that's. Okay. So if you want, we can make a comment about orcas. Slow motion, almost dead. Yeah. Here we go. So orcas. No, but let's, 
let's let yeah, your comment. Oh, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm being serious as I can be. <laughs> Listen, orcas are, I've said this before, are the only animal underwater that gives me concern. If really? I'm going to swim with an orca and the orca's family are, and, and children are nearby, they have been known to attack without any known reason. And guess what they don't do? They don't eat you. They kill you and then they go no, on. Actually, and move away. this is, so, this, so, uh, we're, this we're going to disagree on. And okay. without without going to Google, my understanding, and I could be totally wrong about this, not, my it, understanding. Not all orcas do that, but it, I just, no, no, they, no, they, but, they're a little scary. Yeah, no, but listen, my understanding on this, which is totally based on YouTube where everything is true, is that orcas have never killed a human in the wild. Never. Okay. Not I'm one person. Too. Now, one person has died in the wild. They've killed them at, like, whatever, Sea World, like, you know, when uh, the orcas okay. are. So I could, that's a good point. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to retract my statement because I think you're right. But yeah. I'm saying that they have been known, and 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 you guys out there can Google it, too. Yeah. Comment They're below. very, very protective of their of their children. So if you're, mm -hmm. if you're around orcas i wouldn't just jump in the water with them without being with professionals right i would jump in the water without professionals around bull sharks yeah. i would not totally. jump in the water without professionals around orcas maybe well, that's a better way to say it hey i'm so gonna have now uh, i'm gonna have to remove this mustache <laughs> because it's does that make sense it's terrible um no but what i'm what i'm saying is the orcas is not to say that they're not scary or that there are videos online of them like attacking a sailboat for no reason, like being very, very scary or intimidating yeah. people that think they're going to die. But as far as I know, there has never been a documented death from an orca attack in the wild, which is pretty cool because very cool. orcas are known as killer whales. You would think that there will be like millions of deaths, you know, attributed to, to yeah. orcas. And there's not even one, which I thought it was unbelievable. Listen, they're beautiful. They're spectacular. They need to be protected. But yeah. um, I, it's the only animal in the ocean I think I would tend to just want to be a little cautious and be with professionals. I just would want – listen, there are tours in Norway where you can swim yep. Which with orcas, doing with orcas I believe. I believe that it is with orcas and you're swimming with them. But – um. It would be pretty awesome you, to do you're, that. You're you're with guides, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying? That's all. I'm just encouraging yeah, a little bit of smartness if there's orcas yeah. around. And maybe I would I would swim with orcas before I do like polar bears, which is what Jill did in the article. Like, let's just go diving with polar bears. That's unbelievable. Would you so, swim with Aquaman? Let's move on. All right. So this last one uh, coming up, pretty cool. I love this. It looks like a little canyon full of fish. How awesome is this? Mm -hmm. Now, let me mm. pause right here for a second and ask you, what is the last creature that you expect to find on a deep underwater cave or canyon like this? Is it in the ocean? Yeah. The last creature I would expect to find inside of that? Yeah. Any kind of mammal. Okay. Well, let's no, keep watch. I wouldn't expect to see a mammal any because of I, any sort inside of that. Maybe because some I big think fish, if, but oh, yeah, but but I I feel like if you if we find a seal or a sea lion or something like that, you'll be like, okay, that makes sense because they're kind of in in the water too. But yeah, I was shocked when I saw this. Watch this. Okay, this guy's swimming inside this canyon. It's getting dark, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden. There's a bird. No, that's awesome. <laughs> that's what? awesome. That's really what? cool. What just happened? <laughs> Where did that bird come from? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and that what? guy's fishing, man. He's in that. That bird's in there fishing. <laughs> like, uh, I thought funny. it was cool. I'm like, what? Yeah. Where did that bird come from? That was amazing. But other than that, I mean, this location looks pretty cool. Look how much fish. It's like a river of fish. Awesome. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, I thought that was uh, that was pretty interesting to see That's a, cool. a That's bird a down video. there. That's a happy, fun video. Let me Dude, ask now you. Now you look like me, an Amish Aquaman. Let me ask. Is, 
Let me, which is <laughs> let me ask you a question. Okay. And I'm asking this to our fans mm. as well as you. Do you want me to teach you how to speak Aquaman language this week at Dima? Not even a little bit. So I'm I'm going to. Wow. Okay. And we're going to talk a lot of Aquaman at Dima. So if you see me at Dima and I'm next to Gus, expect a very special language. Speaking the of Dima. The entire day is what I'm telling you. I That's... didn't. Yeah. And then guess who's All going right. to be right next to you the entire day? Can you think of the person that's going to be next to you the entire day? Speaking of Dima, I don't even want to entertain your conversation. I'm ignoring you. Well, you Speaking of Dima. me at Aquaman <laughs> land. Aquaman land. What? Do you know anything about Aquaman? Like what city? I love Aquaman. What, we what city? What's the name of the city? We came telepathically from? transmit yeah. Yeah. all communications to Gotham. you at Dima. I'm yeah. going to look at you. Metropolis. Do okay. you understand what I'm saying? Stop right staring. Now? You're weird. Okay. So, but speaking of Dima, in case someone didn't see our video, a Dima from last year, when we went to Dima for the first time in Vegas, I want to drop it right here. People can check that out. And please don't wear that to Dima. Don't. It's going to be embarrassing. Don't even bring it. I don't even know where, why do you even own that? I'm never telling you again what we're talking about on these videos. All right. See you in the next one.